guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, I am very, very excited. Uh, first off, I wanted to wish you a happy new year. This is going to be my maybe first or second video of the year. Very exciting times. I am going to start off my declutter series. A lot of you have asked um, for my makeup collection you wanted to see. Um, unfortunately, my setup doesn't let me show you everything at once. Uh, so I decided to actually split this video into multiples and then do a declutter at the same time. I did ask you on my Instagram if you wanted to see this and you said hell yes. So here we are. I'm going to, as I mentioned, just split the video. So I may do blushes and highlighters, primers, foundations, powders, lippies, face palettes, everything like that. So I am very excited to start decluttering my makeup because there are things here that I haven't touched for months. So that means I don't need them anymore. I am going to be uh, donating these things to a women's shelter here in Toronto that I know of. Um, and then things that are newer, I make it for family and friends. So yeah, I'm going to bring you over to the other setup, which is going to be back here. And yeah, let's just get started. Okay, friends, let's begin. And here I put all my powder blushes thick blushes and liquid blushes not sure if we go through um you know the cream ones but we're gonna try to tackle as much as we can to begin with this one so this one is a limited edition compact by chanel this one is in the shade rose de petillant and this is a beautiful glowy blush i love me some glowy blush so of course this guy isn't going anywhere i would like to, to eventually purchase many of these Chanel blushes so this one is going all the way to my right next up we have this beautiful beautiful one by Wayne Goss this is his latest release it's called Vivid Azalea and this is just stunning friends I reviewed this guy and look at this color this is a blush and highlighter duo and I just find this to be extremely unique to my collection so I love, I love this. Blush. Next up, we have Charlotte Tilbury and I have a few blushes from her and these are one of my favorite blush formulas, period. So this one is in the shade Ecstasy and you can see that it is a little bit light for my complexion, but I build it up and it is beautiful. It is a pinky, corally, kind of shade and it has a little bit of a glow so again this one is in ecstasy and it isn't going anywhere my babe next up we have another one by her this one is love is the drug and this one is a more poppy pink kind of blush and this one you can see is more pigmented than the previous one but nonetheless very beautiful I love her formula so I do highly recommend if you're on a blush hunt you look into Chanel blushes and also Charlotte's blushes. Next up we have this one by Charlotte and this one is in the shade Walk on a Shame. I'm trying to put them all together so we can talk by brand. So this is what Walk on a Shame looks like. You can see that it is a little bit darker, but it's very beautiful on the skin, really neutral. You can wear with anything pretty much. So I do love this shade quite a bit. And yeah, isn't going anywhere. Next up, we have some Patrick Ta, and I love his blushes. Um, one that isn't the same is just his regular line. This is in the shade She's Passionate, and these are his previews, just a one, you know, just a blush without the cream. And this is what it looks like. This is a really similar formula to his double compacts that you get a cream and a blush. Uh, but this is a beautiful shade. It is very buildable. I do like it. It is a corally pinky shade. So yeah, I love this. This isn't going anywhere. Next up, I do have his three compacts. I have Ochi's Different which this is what it looks like which is the darkest shade i'm going to swatch as much as i can so you can see this a beautiful mouth tone um and then his cream side so you can see it is beautiful you guys these blushes do last a ton on your skin 
they build up quite nicely. This one is Chiso LA, which is one of my fave. It looks really scary and dark, but whenever you go to apply it, it just looks beautiful and tan, and it is a nice shade. And then this one, Do We Know Her? This is what it looks like. This is actually new. I haven't touched it, but this is the coral shade from his line. So I'm going to do it right here, and then the cream side. So really soft and beautiful shades and yeah, I do love these ones by Patrick Ta a lot. I do have these by Tarte. This is the Amazonian Color Clay Bronzer Blush and this is old in my collection. This was um, just a limited edition product. You swirl them all together and you get a beautiful blush but it's not even showing up anymore this is what it looks like it's really subtle it's not very pigmented so this I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter because I haven't used that in a while and I think it's already too old yeah these I haven't used so I'm gonna put the things that I'm decluttering over to that side then next up we have some Mac this one is the extra dimension blush in Fox sure this is a unique shade i haven't used this that much to be honest i haven't used it in a while this is what it looks like it actually reminds me of a chanel blush that we're gonna see in a minute from the lachine's collection actually let's go ahead and look for it now this guy from chanel let's swatch it oh no the Chanel is more copper. This one is more um, more pink, you can see. But yeah, anyways, this is a nice formula, a nice blush formula by MAC. And I am not going to get rid of, so I'm keeping this one as well. Next up, I have this Sephora blush. And this is Micro Smooth blushes in the shade guava glow i am i i love this product actually i loved it a lot i used it quite a bit it is a beautiful um just pinky and it is glowy and you guys every time i wear it you guys ask ask me what it is and this is actually discontinued so i'm actually going to be decluttering this because i hate to have products that you guys can really reach and so i can't even lick it next up we have these blush by mac is in the shade warm soul and this is a classic people love this shade it is a very very subtle kind of a blush it doesn't even show up too much on my skin but i have to like build it up quite a bit but when i do it shows up so i'm actually gonna just keep it because it is just a classic and then for comparison reasons I should. Um, I have this blush by Tarte. This one is in the shade Party and I think this is just a mini blush. This is too light for me. It, it always was and I never really liked it too much so I'm actually going to just pass it on. Next up we have this blush in the shade Rose Dioro. This one is by Milani and I, and I do love these blushes by Milani. These are beautiful. They have a beautiful beautiful sheen to them. Some of them have more sparkle because of the veining of the blush. I don't know if you can tell but anyways this is a beautiful blush. I am keeping this one because it's one of my faves from the drugstore. Next up we have this one by L'Oreal. It's called Blush Please in Blushing in Central Pace. And this one is also very beautiful, really glowy. It reminds me a little bit of Orgasm by NARS, which I have, but I can't see it anymore, so I don't know what it is to compare it. Uh, but yeah, this is a beautiful shade, very soft and pigmented. So I do wanna keep it because it is beautiful by, um, it is beautiful from the drugstore. Next up we have the is a duo by Shantakai. This is called the Radiance Cheek Cheek and Highlight Duo in the shade Rose. This is just beautiful, you guys. This is one of my favorite compacts um, because I do have a beautiful blush and a beautiful highlighter. And this is what this guy looks like. This is a beautiful and pigmented blush and a stunning highlighter. I've talked about this product before because some people think that this isn't pigmented. You do have to have the right tool to really dig into the product it is really hard pressed but once you get through that top layer you can see how much pigment this really has so i do love this product it isn't going anywhere then we have 
have a blush by Tarte. This one is in Spost. And I think this doesn't show up on me as well. I don't know why I still have it. This is so dry it out. So this should go to the garbage. It doesn't. Yeah. Next up, we have this one by Chanel. This is the limited edition from their winter collection 2020. This is the Le Chines blush. And I, I swatched it before. So this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. It isn't going anywhere. I do love it quite a bit. Then next up, we have this guy by Dior. This is again from their holiday collection. I think it's called uh, Golden Nights. And this is their blush. It had a beautiful snowflake, which I have destroyed. This blush actually has some glitter throughout, but it's just beautiful. I love it. I love it so, so much. Look how delicate and beautiful this pink is. It is very different from Shindukai. As you can see, this one is really bright, but this one just looks beautiful on my complexion. So I love, I love the formula of this blush by Dior. Another one by Wayne Goss. This is in the shade Blush Peony. It is actually my fave from the two I brought I bought from him. Um this is what the blush looks like and the highlighter is just very unique and iridescent. I love it. Every time I wear this comeback you guys are always asking about the highlighter because it is truly unique you guys. You can make it very wearable for every day or you can make it really popping. So I love these blushes by Next up, I have this blush by e.l.f. This one is in the shade Always Cheeky and it's one of their primer infused blush. It's actually really nice. It doesn't it is really light for my complexion. I do love the formula of this. They do last a ton on your um on your face but i think i'm going to just get rid of it because again it's just too light and i have to keep fighting with that blush every time i use it i used to do a lot of um drugstore back when i started my youtube channel but i don't know why i started away from it i think i didn't get enough views at the time so let me know if you do want me to go back and mix a little bit of drugstore and high-end um, for this 2020 year. This blush is by Wet n Wild and is in the shade Rose Champagne. It's also really pretty. Um, it is a buildable kind of blush, but same thing, I do have to build it up quite a bit, but I do want to keep it. I do like this formula. It's very soft and buildable. So next up, we have this one by Moni and it is one of their newest products that I tried from K-Beauty. I did a video on it and they gifted me this blush. So this is pretty, I really liked it. Very pigmented so I am going to keep it. Next up I do have three hourglass blushes and these ones are very pretty as well. The formula is super soft and beautiful. This one is in ethereal glow and I'm actually I think I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, I I bought it and it's just so light. You can see, I don't know who can wear this shade. It's just too light. So I am going to declutter that one. Then I have Diffuse Heat, which I, I do like quite a bit. It is beautiful. These blushes are super soft. They have a beautiful sheen. So I am going to keep this one and I'm also going to keep Dim Infusion, which is also a little bit light, but it does show up much better um once i try to build it up so this is going to be kept also have this mac blush this is one of their um this came last spring i think they're called glow play blush this is in the shade so natural and i really like it this is one of those bouncy blushes it looks very pretty and natural they don't really last a ton on my complexion like the patrick toss that but i do still like it so i am going to keep it next up i have this natasha denona mini bloom blush and this she released with one of her collection. This is just really pretty as well. Very glowy and beautiful. It is very pigmented as you can see. I do like it quite a bit. Next up, I have another of these Milani blushes in the shade Dulce Pink. And this is also stunning. It isn't going anywhere. Very um, highlighty, just like I like. So <laughs> I do love this one by Milani. Next up, we have this Hot Mama by The Balm. 
and these I haven't used in forever so I think I am going to just declutter it it is beautiful it is glowy but yeah it's just too old so this is going out of my collection next up i have this sweet pie by Too faced this is a radiant matte bronzer but i don't think it is a bronzer i don't think it is a blush like i don't know what this product really is it's just too light for for a bronzer so i used it um as a blush you know like a neutral kind of blush so I, I like it, I like the formula, it is pretty, so I am going to keep it, but I continue to use it as a blather blush by Chanel, this one is in the shade Malice, it's my holy grail from Chanel, I love this shade, let's do here, it is very neutral and beautiful, it shows up in my complexion, I do love Next it. Next up I have this blush by Pure in Bare Roll, um, this is just really old, so... Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Then I have another duo by them in Uncovered. I don't know. These are just too old to keep. So I'm getting rid of this one as well. Then I have this pretty one by MAC. This is Melba and Love Cloud. So it is in a limited edition packaging. Of course, I always wanted Melba. And when I saw that they came out in this pretty packaging i bought it right away this one is not too pigmented but melba is you can see this is a beautiful limited edition compact you can see so of course i am going to keep it next up i have this blush by shandakai this one is in the shade grace and it is the c total blush and i love love this blush so soft and beautiful very pretty and romantic really easy to apply beautiful compact and then we have these by bobby brown in the shade peony which is newer to my collection but i really like it it is very bright you can see super pigmented we can share it out so so beautifully so i do love it so we couldn't cover the liquids the creams blushes i think it's this video is just gonna be too long so i i am getting rid of few blushes so four eight nine not too bad i kept most of them i knew it but this is a pretty much a collection kind of um video so i said that i may declutter some things but yeah not too successful i am happy to pass this along to the women's shelter here in toronto and i'm gonna continue to do that on my next declutter thank you so much you guys um let me know if you love declutter videos give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy and i want to catch you in my next one bye